so the code's nowhere near ready yet. I still got to work on it, but I got a uh, <coughs> couple of AT Tinies. This is the AT Tiny uh, Focus. Focus. Okay, we're not focusing. AT Tiny 84. Um, this one's got more pins than the other one. Um, there's a little one too. There's it right there. Uh, but I uploaded a very simple code, and it's actually a trigger simulator. So this is the Arduino Mega. It's got the Spiduino firmware on it, but there's no board, so all the other sensors are going to be all wacky. But the one thing I was able to do with this little tiny buck and a half, yes, dollar and a half, um, AT Tiny was I was able to program it to simulate a uh, trigger sensor. So you can test, uh, test ECUs and... Actually, not just the Spiduino, but just about any ECU. Uh, it specifically emulates a 12-1 uh, trigger, so 12 points of uh, rotation in one dead spot um, on the 360 wheel. And uh, now I do have a potentiometer connected to it, so you can adjust the RPMs. Um, oh, there. Get a little more stable with my other hand. Um so you can adjust the RT RPMs, and it works really good down low. The problem is, um, what I want to finish in the code is, as it gets higher, it's pretty much got the linearity of a brick rolling down a hill. Um, so I'm still going to work on the code a bit, but, I mean, down here, it seems to work really well. And being on that little tiny chip without a oscillator, I'm, uh, I'm pretty impressed at uh, how well it works. So once I finalize the code, I'll upload it.